Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here, back with another eBay loot video. I've been trying to stay off eBay for the last couple of weeks, trying to build uh, the PayPal funds up a little bit in case any new scaven stuff comes out, or even the Nagash model. But you know, once you start buying stuff off eBay, it's really hard to stop, and once you find a good bargain, you really have to get it. So this video, I have two new models that I got. These are for uh, my Ogre Kingdom army. Um, I wasn't looking for anything in particular, but these are two models that I've been wanting to get for a while, uh, especially this one. But first, I'll just go through this one. So, uh, kind of standard size base for anything in the Ogre Army. Let's get this open. So, if anyone knows, as you can see, this is a Gorger model. Um, these are you don't see them a whole lot in armies. You usually only see like one of them. And these can be pretty expensive to buy. I can't. I think they're about. I wonder if I have a look. I think they're about twenty to thirty euro on the Games Workshop website. Gorger. Um, yeah, they're twenty one euro, and that's with the fine cast. So I was lucky enough to get this one in metal. As you can see, it's like it's partly painted, but um. I'm just gonna just, like clean all that off and um, strip it and everything. But I always like these. I think the models are pretty cool. And um, if I got to play with my ogre army, I would definitely include it. Just trying to look at the parts on it. I thought that was a bit of like metal sticking up, but it's the thing coming through his arm, like the bone. So um, yeah, the fluff to these guys is pretty cool as well. They're like ogres that were too weak, so they got left in the cave. And this is what it come out like once they're left in there. And there is, I didn't know this was part of uh, the kit as well until I seen it on eBay. I didn't know this came with it. There's an additional head. So, I wonder if I zoom in. You see, he's blindfolded. Um, I wouldn't be mad on this header before the other one. Because um, the part of the fluff is once these go into battle. They're like blindfolded or they're in something and they can't see and then they're like they're unleashed and just go crazy on the battlefield so yeah he's pretty big uh, well there's like an oversized base you know he's taller than that so um that's him i can't remember how much i paid for him i think it was could have been about 10 euro or something including delivery i can't really remember to be honest uh the second guy this guy was a little bit more expensive um, this guy actually nearly pushed it to the the asking price that you see for newer ones. Yeah, twenty one euro for the newer one. Um, and actually, I got the two of these off the same guy. So it's a metal model again. It's the ogre man eater. It's the I think this is the yes yeah, the imperial guard one. And there's the the big hammer that came with it. So I'm not sure that the other piece wasn't loose. Yeah, so he came this is glued on it. But luckily when I, once I just kinda touched it once or twice, it came off pretty easy, which is handy for for when I want to strip it off. Um yeah, I've been wanting to get man eaters into the in my ogre armory since I got the book. But like you need a minimum of three of these guys. And they're like 21 euro each, so you're paying 60 euro for a 3 man squad, so... I said, it's, it's, you don't see these going cheap on eBay too much, so I said... Like if I see this one going cheap, and then like the last bid... I said, if I put any more than this, it's just not even worth getting out if I can just get a brand new one for the price. But the, my very last bid, I did get it. So, this is the Imperial one. So the story with the Mornfang, or the Mornfang, sorry. The man eaters is like these rogers that leave the tribes and they go do like mercenary work for um I don't know if I move the camera down. They go and do mercenary work for anyone that'll take them. You know, you have like one that's like a ninja, a pirate, you know, and this guy who worked for the Empire. So there'll be a lot of Empire colours on him. So I'm kinda of looking forward to doing him as well, so whenever I get around to doing it. And he has this pretty pretty cool hammer. 
Which is probably like part of a statue or something. Because with the like the fist on the hair, that's not his fist. So it's probably like a rock or something, I can't even remember. This guy painted a bronze or something. So yeah, so I'm kinda of looking forward to trying to get more man eaters into the army, so and there's the size of the gorger. He's pretty much the same size. He's a bit skinnier but he's pretty muscular. So uh yeah, I think it was how much would it have been? About nearly thirty euro for the two of these, something like that. So um I mean I think it's a pretty decent haul, especially for the gorger. Um, and the man eater was a bit more pricier but you know, I'd rather try and get one of these metal ones and strip them than get the the what do you call them? Fine cast ones. So um let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment and hit the like button. If you like the eBay loot that I'm just after getting. And uh, if you haven't just subscribe as well. And uh thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. I look forward to seeing the comments on this one. Let me know what you guys think. And uh I'll see you next time.